say it like this. Good players on bad teams. I mean, talk about this. Your whole life, you wait to go play football. You have all the skills. You're a freak of nature. Somehow you make it on one man of 55 guys on 32 teams in the whole world. You make it on this amazing roster, and then you get stuck on a team like the Rams. Boom, Sniggles. Larry Nitus in my face just engaged. That must have hurt. You play your whole career. Well, hello, and here it is, the big debate, created team versus fantasy draft. So you start your franchise, you can do a regular NFL league, or you can create a team and import that team, and that team replaces one of the NFL teams, or you can do a fantasy draft franchise, which puts the whole NFL in a big pool, and you get to, uh, along with the other 30 one teams in the league you get to choose who you want on your team I like uh, doing them all I'm really a fan of the game so I like doing them all one of my f my least favorite is just playing the regular NFL I don't know what it is but I just get bored knowing you know with the team I don't know what it is I, I just I have issues uh, I want to ask you what is your main thing that you do I know some of you have watched my videos and I did a fantasy draft with Tim Tebow back on the Buccaneers and uh, Madden 11 and a lot of you started doing a fantasy draft and then I this is a created team and uh, some of you have done the same thing so I want to ask you what do you do how do you start your NFL franchise off I also have my online franchise hopefully you've been enjoying that check that out I do a lot of live streaming lately also Saturday uh, 2 11 February 11th we're gonna be doing a live stream draft so check that out at 10 p.m. Eastern time all right anyways as you can see there's Edelman and we have a created team here but with real NFL players on there too. So this is a created team for those of you who don't know, pretty much following the whole series. We created a team, created a cupcake team, dropped everybody off the roster except for like the top five guys, added nothing but free agents, lost that year four to twelve uh, four and twelve that year, got first pick in the draft, drafted eight people uh, or seven people with an eighty overall or higher in that draft and rebuilt this team immediately this is that second year we have 10 wins 10 wins hoping to get an 11 right here but we're looking to win this division this is the last game before the playoffs week 17 we are going to the playoffs with this I basically asked you guys as you can see 10 and 5 hoping to get another win here just to solidify it. but it doesn't matter we're going to the playoffs as you can see I've added a lot of you guys I uh, created this question uh, last uh, beginning of this season and I allowed the top seven answers that I like the most to become part of this team and I changed the name to whatever name you guys wanted uh, next video I will be asking the question for the other 10 rookies that I've picked up and I'll pick the 10 best answers so I'm not going to tell you that question but make sure you check out the next or Sarah fire created team video uh, as you can see, I have Andrew Luck at quarterback here, and what I did is I basically just changed the name to Andrew Luck, but if I go another season, I need some feedback. Do you want to see another season with these players? Do you want to see another season with this created team thing? As you can see, I do nothing normal. I always do some awesome stuff, but if you want to see another season, I need you to comment down below. My next draft class is going to be the real NCAA draft class with the rear and real Andrew Luck and some other of your top college guys that have come out of the college this year that will be going in the draft next year so it'd be cool to see some of them uh robert griffin the third and all that getting into the nfl so if you want me to go another season with this let me know down below some of you have said you wanted me to go all the way to super bowl with this i don't know i need your feedback immediately okay with that note, I'm going to be talking about three different gameplays. Created team, I'm going to start off with because that's what I'm talking about. Created team benefits are you only replace the one team in the NFL. The only bad thing is, is it takes all those players out of the NFL. I wish created team, when you entered into it, it would put all those players into the free agent pool and the rest of the NFL could grab them. I think that that would be the best way to do create a team. That way those players can still be in the league. Uh, you do have to replace a team, though. I wish they kind of did that every now and then, like a real franchise entering into the NFL where you can actually get a brand new NFL franchise and try out everything. Um, I, I like doing that. I'm actually going to save for another video my talk on the franchise mode by itself, like one of my favorite favorite things is to earn money and make stadium upgrades and all that but we'll leave that for later we're going to keep this conversation to all this so i like create a team because you can pick whether you want a balanced team 
pass balance team, uh, smash mouth, which is running and defense. You can pretty much pick who you want your creative players to be more stronger with. And I like that. I like that momentum. I like the way they do that. Um, you know, be a cupcake team, nothing team. Most of the time I pick the balance team and I jump in the NFL. I like the fact that in creative team, you can pretty much change everybody's names. If you ever seen, I did a big machinima. Um, created a team where I did all like uh, Machinima Realm, Machinima Sports, Machinima Respawn, and I did some cool stuff there. Changed all the names to, like Sark and Hutch and C Nanners, and they had a lot of fun with that one. So created team really brings the versatility of the game. I wish the created team had more. Like back in 06 or the old PS2 days, you can actually have a created team with a different uh, look on their face. You know, it's kind of cool where you have different you know icons and different like I don't know. Just the team emblems are horrible this year. But other than that. I I love creating team for that. Fantasy draft has its benefits too because you get to pick what players you want. You get to pick what players actually go on your team. Let's say you don't care about your offensive line. You can draft all those guys later. You can draft all your like you can draft four wide receivers right in a row. If you don't care about defense, you could do, you know, pick your quarterback, pick your halfback, pick your wide receivers, pick your tight end, then go after defense. That's the benefit of fantasy draft. It really, really allows that customization, but not letting you go too crazy. In a creative team, you could actually do a fantasy draft on the creative team. The only thing is, is it doesn't take those players out of the NFL. So you could put like all like 99 overall guys in there. So it's kind of, you know, benefits of that. I love fantasy draft for the simple fact that you get to get a brand new team. You change the whole course of the NFL. And with Madden's new ways of doing things, you get to see Oh, wow, this is really, this game's going bad. Tom Coughlin's like, OMG. Mr. Brunson fumbled the ball with fourth quarter to go. That is just some bad news. We've got to stop him. Big stop on third down. Two minutes to go. Cam Newton's just mad. He's just kicking somebody. He's just making some bad plays. Look at that junk. They're probably going to kick a field goal here. Go up another 10 points on me. i got to make a stop. i got to make some things happen. So Fantasy Draft has its benefits. You get a new face on the whole team. You get to do whatever you want. Some people like a really fast team like the Raiders. You can do whatever you want in Fantasy Draft, which is kind of cool. The only thing I don't like disadvantages of Fantasy Draft is the fact that the whole NFL changes. When you play the Green Bay Packers, you have no idea who they are. You have to go in there and find out who they are. Back in the olden games, you actually did a game plan. So uh, the NFL scouts or advisors of your team would actually let you know what's going on. So they don't have that. And this year's Madden, you have to go in there and like look at the stats and all that. Oh my God, he could go all the way. Oh my God. Why didn't he catch that? Oh my god, I need that touchdown because I need two scores to go. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Andrew Luck up the middle to Parrish, a created guy that I, uh, one of you. Hey, Parrish, you still watching these videos? That was pretty cool. But another touchdown throw. Andrew Luck has a 97 power, 65 accuracy, but 95 short accuracy, 87 mid accuracy, 77 deep accuracy. I don't understand what that accuracy being 68 is so low for, but I can't move that up. I don't know what's going on with that. So someone explain that to me, why short, why you're regular, there's throwing power, throwing accuracy, and then there's that. But I get to go, here's the end of the game, I get sacked, end of the season, and I get punched in the face. <laughs> oh, that was cool. But this game really didn't matter. I lost. But imagine that, a YouTube video maker that actually shows real life. I don't reset it so that way I can win. Bad thing, Adam Bones got hurt. Lucky thing is, DeLorence, my rookie defensive tackle, and myself, Tercerifier, second year free safety, made the Pro Bowl. As you can see, the Chiefs are number one team in the NFL. I take over the NFC West. The Packers are winning. The Chiefs are up top. Bills made the playoffs. Can you believe it? Texans over the Colts in year two. Browns winning the division in the AFC North. Are you kidding me? Peyton Manning wins the MVP. Matt Ryan second in that running. Colt McCoy also third in the overall there. Eric Berry wins the defensive player. There year award. Jimmy Boswell was a guy that someone asked me to change. Uh, they wish they could see Jimmy Boswell in this game, so I put him in the game. He ends up winning Rookie of the Year. And then uh, Adam Bones Defensive Rookie of the Year. Look at that. Two of my guys in the running, which is awesome. Mustafarage, number one kicker in the league. Sec second is Janikowski, which is kind of cool, but Todd Haley, number one player. Coach in the NFL makes sense. Had a lot of interceptions of luck. I don't know. I just don't really like this luck. We're going to have to go for the other luck. Uh, Dragonowski pretty much carried this team. Our running game carried this uh, team this year. When I ran first, games went well. When I passed 
It didn't go well. The Beast got hurt. He's like my best guy, so I had to go with Parrish. He got hurt for like six games, so Parrish had to pretty much take over the number one ranks. But he's only a 67 overall. We have one of the worst wide receiver cores, so in the draft, we got to pick up wide receivers. Cameron Wake leads our team in tackles, while Adam Bones and DeLawrence, the two rookies, lead almost uh, the whole team with sacks. Tutupo and Fire, look at that. One field goal missed all year long. Tutupo and Fire taking over the interceptions total. But uh, McCluster running almost a thousand yards kick return, not too bad. Here's the first week in the playoffs wild card. We don't have to do because I get a bye week, yay! So that means Bones is not hurt anymore. But we're playing the Packers next week, so you make sure you tune in, check this stuff out, like, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, check out my other videos. I got a lot of series going on. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you come on next week. We're gonna have a blast. Peace. Caught by the tight end, past the marker. To the 10. And a huge touchdown play. How do they let the tight end get so open on such a big play? That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. Chance, I want to come back and do this. Come on, Mr. Rams. Come on. Oh, I said. I got the Alright, I won't let it go that long again. I just think it's hilarious. That was a beautiful one-handed intercept.